Hello everybody, my name is Raxef, and boy oh boy, we have had a busy week. First, we had the new raid and Taurus drop. It's been a ton of fun so far. I'm planning on making a video on it very shortly, but also, very recently, we had a huge dump on the PTR. Patch 7.3.5 officially arrived on the public test realm, and with it, we've got a ton of new things to explore. So, be forewarned, this video is going to have some spoilers in it, although not really major storyline spoilers. Uh, today's video, we're going to be covering the uh, all the new character models that were released in regards to allied races. So those are the Lightforged Draenei, the Void Elves, the High Mountain Tauren, and the Nightborn. So if you don't really want to know what those look like ahead of time, then feel free to skip this video. But if you're interested in learning a bit more about them, then of course, feel free to stay aboard. So before we get into the actual character models, I just want to let you know that I'm not going to be going through every single little detail on every single model for both genders. I'm really only going to be highlighting some of the more interesting customization points and pointing out a couple of interesting things that I saw on the way. So first up, we have the Lightforged Draenei. So what we're looking at here are the tattoos for both the male and female Lightforged Draenei. Now, right off the bat, I think they look really cool. I don't think they look as good as the tattoos you could select as a demon hunter. Um, and, and we only have about three options for each gender, so I'm sure more will be coming. Overall, I really like the look of the Lightforged Draenei, and that's coming from someone who doesn't really like Draenei. I like that they've got these golden horseshoes, and they've got all this kind of golden plating all around their body, and it looks pretty cool. I think Blizzard missed an opportunity to up their customization game when it came to these tattoos. Instead of going for just sort of a set, uh, a set template or a set look, it would have been cool if they gave players the opportunity to customize the locations of these tattoos and perhaps if you only wanted a tattoo on your right hand and up your left arm you could sort of select a different kind and just custom customize them and, and place them how you wanted them on your character um but but even beyond that while the tattoos are cool, I don't know how much sense they'll make or how important they'll be in-game. Because with Demon Hunters, a lot of the armor was was designed to show off your chest area so you could get, really get a, a sense of what your tattoos look like. For these Draenei, I'm assuming that they're going to be wearing a lot of armor that just covers up a lot of their whole body. So at the end of the day, you really won't even be seeing these tattoos unless you happen to be visiting the Goldshire Inn on Moonguard. Uh, but with that being said, I, I think it's a cool idea. I just don't know how how great it's going to be once, once these characters are implemented. Because you can select whatever kind of tattoos you want, but at the end of the day, no one's really going to see them unless you somehow hide your shirt and, and your chest armor and you just walk around with your tattoos out. That being said, I really, really like what they've done with the runes for the Lightforged Draenei. I think that they've got some uh, interesting designs here, and and uh, it's something I was really looking forward to uh, based on a couple uh, of a couple of toys. There's one toy in, in particular which gives you an Eridar rune on your forehead, and I thought to myself, gosh, that would be really cool if you could have that on Draenei, and it is something they gave to us. Uh, a lot of the designs are pretty unique and I think uh, I think it's it's very interesting just to to see something that was a toy be implemented into a character model I I, I hope it's something that Blizzard continues to do throughout the game uh, particularly for other toys personally I like the inky black potion that's not really a toy but it's still an item uh, the inky black potion which turns the sky into a really deep deep midnight there's not really any sort of colorization in there uh, it's a deep black and and I want them to make that a standard option within the game instead of drinking a potion to that because the look of that uh, looks really really cool particularly if you're in a city the light effects of a city really pop at night with with an inky black potion so so to me what this is saying is that blizzard is kind of looking at certain toys at least and then seeing how they could possibly imp implement that into character customization. So really, really cool work done for these runes for both genders. I'm interested in seeing, uh, seeing more and seeing perhaps if these runes 
change or have any specific animations to them, but uh, but so far, pretty good job on the Lightforged Draenei. Next up, we have the Void Elves. Now, this class got me really, really excited, and, and now that it's here on the PTR, I'm strongly considering transferring over to the Alliance because these models are really, really great. I've got to start with my favorite part of them, and that has to be the glowing hair. I'm going to pop an image uh, up on the screen where you can actually see a gif of a female void elf with the glowing hair being animated. The male, uh, the male void elves will have glowing hair as well for some of their hairstyles. It's not for every single hairstyle, but there are a number of them that do have this cool void glowing animation and it's just running up your hair. So I think that that's really, really cool. Overall, in terms of the models, uh, they look pretty much like uh, like uh, purple skinned or, or light pink skinned uh, uh, blood elves. I mean, there are some minor changes in regards to the ears. The, the models themselves seem slightly higher resolution to me, but that, that could just be the fact that they look newer. Uh, the, the hair overall looks really, really good, particularly uh, for the female models. And and not just in the style of the hair, but in, in terms of the fidelity. Like, it, it, it just looks um, slightly more detailed than hairstyles that we have on our current races. So maybe that's a sign that Blizzard is going to be up in the game in terms of the resolution of character models again. I think that would be really, really cool. Uh, th there are tons and tons of really great uh, hairstyles when it comes to these Void Elves. Not so much in terms of other kinds of customizations. There's uh, there's interesting, uh, there's some interesting skin colors. I mean, it ranges from sort of light purple to to almost like a, a Draenei blue, uh, but, but no sort of special kind of effects that you get for being a Void Elf. Uh, we do know that Void Elves are going to have some sort of toggle where they go between normal form and void form. I don't know if if that particular form has any sort of customization to it, like the Worgenar. When you change something on your on your actual Worgen form, then it changes something on your human form, and you can kind of decide on your customization customization that way. Uh, it'd be interesting if we had some sort of indication of that. Right now, all I can guess is that when we have our void forms, it's just like our normal forms, but we're covered in void purplish smog and smoke and uh, and it's very similar to how Illyria looks when she's in her void form ultimately we just have to wait and see but I'm really really excited for void elves I wanted anything but a a night elf on the alliance I, I wanted a new elf race for the alliance and I was I was partially thinking there'd be high elves but void elves are certainly very very interesting and I'm definitely at least going to make an alt void elf. I'm going to be making an alt of all the allied races because I just really want to get the get the heirloom armor but uh, overall from what I've seen of Void Elves not as much customization as compared to the Lightforge Draenei but the the coolness of the glowing hair and the fact that the hair just looks so much better in my opinion than than current hair models that we have so far it's making me really excited for Void Elves. Next up for the Horde we have the High Mountain Torn. Now this is a race that I was kind of excited about but not really and, and that's more so just because to me it seems like the high mountain tauren are just normal tauren with big moose antlers uh they're they're now instead of regular cows they're moose cows uh they do look kind of cool uh in terms of the customization options i i think it's interesting that these antlers have kind of almost runes etched into them so it does give them an interesting look but but overall personally i'm not that excited for the high mountain torn i think i think what most people are going to be excited for when it comes to the high mountain torn are the new druid forms which i'm going to be popping up on the screen uh it it seems to me that that the the druid forms are what people expected they're not anything super radical you know your bear form is going to look like a bear your cat form is going to look like a cat your your travel form is gonna look like a moose. Uh, it, it everything just looks as it people kind of would expect, except it's gonna have some form of antlers on it. So some of the models look a little bit funny. You know, a, a cat with antlers kind of looks a little bit weird in World of Warcraft. But if you're into that sort of thing, then you know you're probably really celebrating. 
other than that, nothing really stands out to me for the High Mountain Torn, but then again, I've never been really connected to to races like the like the Torin or the Pandaren or the uh, or the trolls just uh, but but particularly the Torin they just don't really do anything for me but it, it is kind of cool that we're getting some different type of Torin it, it ultimately when you compare the High Mountain Torin to to all of the allied races that we've seen so far, they're just the most underwhelming to me. And finally, we have the Nightborn. Now, the Nightborn to me stand out as pretty interesting when it comes to the allied races, because so far, for every allied race that we've seen, there's been some sort of special customization. For the Lightforged Draenei, you have the tattoos and you have the, the runes on their foreheads. For the Void Elves, you have the the different kinds of hair that have spell effects and, and there's something kind of cool that goes along with that. Even for the High Mountain Torn, you can select different kind of antlers and, and antler designs. With the Nightborn, they pretty much just look like normal elves with with you know pale hair there's no sort of special uh customizations in terms of tattoos or runes or any sort of spell effects with their hair uh what i do think is interesting about the nightborn is that they look a lot like drow elves if you're familiar with with dungeons and dragons and and you know fantasy creatures from from that sort of genre uh drow drow elves are dark elves and they've always kind of been a favorite of mine so it's cool to kind of see them be put into world of warcraft although they're not exactly dark elves uh it, i think that their the character model looks really cool i mean we know what nightborn look like we've seen plenty of them in suramar uh the hairstyles themselves are kind of standard from what you'd expect you there's some uh, there's some styles that are very reminiscent of some night elf hairstyles, and there's other hairstyles that are reminiscent of blood elf hairstyles. So, you know, I'd kind of like to see something more in in the sense of customization, particularly because the Nightborn are a very magically adept race. You would think that perhaps you could have some sort of are arcane runic tattoos going up their arms, similar to the Lightforged Draenei, or, 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 you know, some sort of glowing spell effect with their hair like the Void Elves had. Uh, it, to me, it seems like kind of a wasted opportunity to give some, uh, just a little bit added customization to, to these characters. But, but even, even across the board, I think that character custom, character customization as a whole, uh, needs a, a looking at from Blizzard. We, they've done a great job for, for some races, but for others, I think, you know, there could be a lot of really great work done there. So the Nightborn looked pretty cool. I'm, I'm definitely going to roll one just because I really, really like elves, if you can't tell. Uh, but, but they're really just elves when when you look at them there's nothing really really cool or special about it in fact when it comes down to to really deciding on a particular race uh you're you're mostly going to be deciding uh on the aesthetics overall of that race and the heritage armor uh i i don't think that there's uh there's going to be a lot of people who entirely main switch over to a new race simply because they can uh you know some people certainly might but personally i know i'm probably going to be keeping my warrior as a blood elf i might be rolling a couple alts for the void elves and for the nightborn uh, but it's gonna take a lot to make me roll say for a dark iron dwarf or a high mountain torrent because i'm just not really that drawn to those particular races but we still have two more races to see from the PTR. We don't even know if they're going to be coming to the PTR, and those are the, the Dark Iron Dwarves and the Zandalari Trolls. But uh, but so far, I'm, I'm fairly impressed with what I'm seeing, particularly from the races that I covered earlier. So uh, we're ultimately going to have to see. Of course, this is all from the PTR, so... This could change at any moment. Nightborn could have runic tattoos. The Lightforged Draenei could have their tattoos taken away, although I think that's a little bit unlikely. 
uh, but but so far I'm really really happy with uh, with what we're seeing so far. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked it, then of course give it a thumbs up. If you have anything to say, if perhaps you really really like the High Mountain Torn and you're so excited that they're finally going to be in the game, or perhaps if you have some sort of uh, feedback to add in terms of customization. What sort of customization would you want to see for the Nightborn or for for any race? If you think there should be a whole tattoo customization section for all races. Uh, let me know in the uh, comment section down below. And if you like my channel and you want to keep up to date with the videos that I'm making, then of course feel free to subscribe. With that being said, I hope to see you guys in the next video. See you later!